All right. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to configure and use SQL Developer. To continue with this lecture, you need to install the Oracle database software first. We can download a different version of SQL Developer from Oracle's website, or we can use the pre-installed SQL Developer that installed with our database software. But let me inform you about a possible problem. Some of the SQL Developer versions may have visual problems. You cannot see some of the windows properly. If you have any problems like that, just download an older version of SQL Developer. Generally, the version 3.2 works fine. You can try that. I do not have any problems about that in my computer, so I will use the pre-installed version. Now, let's open up our SQL Developer. If you have downloaded from the Oracle's website, it's a runnable file. So just open up the folder and run the sqldeveloper.exe file. Or you can find the SQL Developer in your start menu in Windows. Now let's continue. The first thing that we will do is creating a connection for the HR user. To connect to the database, we need to have a working connection. There are two types of doing that. The first one is, we right click on the connections area in here and click on the new connections label. Or the second and simpler way is, let's close this. The second way is just click on this plus sign in here. Both way results the same. It's up to you. In the new window here, we need to write our connection name first. As we are going to use HR schema in our lectures, we will write HR in here. You can write any name in here, it's not so important, but I recommend you to write HR to understand easier which connection it is. The second thing that we will write is our username. The schema that we will use in our courses is HR. So you need to write HR in here. Now, we will write our password. Our password is HR. Now, I need to say something important in here. Passwords are case sensitive in Oracle. So be careful on writing lowercase to avoid invalid password errors. So I simply write HR with lowercase. Now, we are creating a connection with the HR user. If you need to create a connection with system user, you can write system for username and 123 for the password. 123 is the password that we assign while we are installing the database. If you wrote another password, you need to write that. But for now, we all write HR in connection name, username, and password areas. The next step is, we will change the connection type. There are many connection types, but we are using TNS in our lessons. So I'm choosing TNS. Now we need to choose the network alias. When we open up this list, there are three options. Listener ORCL, ORCLR connection data, and ORCL. The name is ORCL because, as you remember, we specified our database name with ORCL. If you wrote another name, you will see another name in here. But you must see three options. If you cannot see three options, that means you did something wrong or your database does not work now. Just go to the services in your operating system and be sure that all the Oracle services are running. Let's check it with you. As you can see, our Oracle services are running. If yours are stopped, just right click and start it. Now, let's close and turn back to our SQL developer. Whatever you see in here, you need to select the very last one, the third one from the top. So we select ORCL in here. Perfect. Let's test our connection. We can see that the account is locked. 
if you see success in here, no problem. But if you see that the account is locked, you need to do one more step. To solve that problem, we need to open up the command prompt first. If you are using Linux, you need to open the terminal. Now, you need to write what I write carefully. The first thing that we will do is to connect SQL Plus. With connecting to SQL Plus, we can run SQL queries in our command line. So I simply write SQL Plus as SysDB. Pause the video right here and write exactly the same thing with me. Now, I will press enter. As you can see in the command line, we successfully connected to SQL Plus with every privileges. If you cannot see SQL in the last text, try to do again. You probably typed something wrong. If you are sure that it's completely true, just go to the services in your operating system and check if Oracle services are running. As everything is OK for me, I can run the SQL code to unlock the HR user. So let's type it. Alter user HR identified by HR account unlock. You need to be sure that you typed everything just as you see in here. Type everything with lowercase and do not forget to write a semicolon at the end. Now pause the video again and recheck if you typed everything correct. If you did right, let's press enter. Perfect. If you see that user altered, that means we successfully unlocked the HR user. Our job is done in here. Let's turn back to SQL Developer and try to connect again. When we test our connection, the status is success. That means everything is fine. Now check the save password option and click save and close the window. As we can see, our connection appeared under the connections area in here. There are two ways to connect our database. The first one is we can right click on the connection and select the connect option. As we can see, our connection has opened successfully. Or the other way is we can click on this green icon in here and select OK. These are the same, just two options. So how do we run our query? At first, we need to write a query. If you are new in SQL, just do not mind what I write in here. Just write exactly the same. If not, you already know that. Great. Now, there are three ways to run our query. The first one is we click on the run button in here. As we can see, this is our data in employees table. Now, let's close the query result window. The second way is we can press control and enter buttons together. As we can see, our result has returned again. The third one is we can press the F9 button. As we can see, there is no difference. In every run, we do the same thing and we have the same result. If you did everything correctly, now you are ready to work with SQL Developer. There are a lot of properties of SQL Developer. You will see most of them in our lectures when I do that. But what I showed in this lecture is for successfully configuring your SQL developer. So this is the end of SQL developer basics. See you in the next lesson.